Let's talk about kimchi and why kimchi is so important in the Korean culture. Kimchi has been around for almost 4,000 years and is known to be a sacred, foundational keystone in the Korean cuisine. Napa cabbage tends to be the sweetest during the winter time, and because of the slower fermentation, people like to make this during the winter time. After washing the Napa cabbage, you want to cut this into fourth and then sprinkle the salt in between all the leaves. This will be brined for up to 8 hours depending on the texture of the Napa cabbage. These cabbages should be submerged into water, just enough to cover half of the cabbage. Every couple of months, my aunt and I will come together to make a batch of kimchi. It is a tedious, labor-intensive process, but once you know how to make this, it's actually pretty easy. After the cabbage has been brined, you want to rinse the salt and then let the cabbages sit to drain the water. Notice how the cabbage is able to bend, but it is still firm enough to hold the shape. You don't want the cabbages to brine too much where it ends up being too soft. You'll get the feel of how much the cabbages need to be brined, but that's going to take some practice. Making really good kimchi doesn't happen overnight. And even though I've done this many times with my aunt, I'm still not getting the hang of it. Which is why I prefer to make this when she's around. So after the cabbages have been brined, rinsed, and drained, next we're going to make the sauce. We ended up using this whole bag of gochugaru for four whole heads of Napa cabbage. Into the Vitamix, she is adding half of the Korean pear along with about 20 cloves of garlic one whole onion, three to four inch of the ginger root, one jalapeno, and about four to five of the Korean red chili pepper. There's also six scallions, but we're going to add that later on because first we're going to add the fish sauce and also a cup of water. Typically, you would use the rice powder, but there was a hack that she saw on YouTube where people were just using leftover rice. Just blend up the whole thing and then into a separate pot, you're going to add two more cups of gochugaru, the scallions, and the kimchi sauce that we just made. Into this, add about a third cup of brown sugar and three tablespoons of salt. Never use table salt, but always use the coarse salt when you're making kimchi. You can also find this grater at the Korean market, which is different from the cheese grater. Okay, now for the fun part. Be sure to wear gloves when you're handling this spicy gochugaru because your hands are going to die if you don't. You're basically spreading that kimchi paste inside every layer of the Napa cabbage. Once you have done that, put it into a kimchi jar. You can find these big glass jars at places like Walmart or even Amazon. Making kimchi is a lot of work, but at the same time can be very therapeutic. These will last so much longer if you happen to have a kimchi fridge, which is totally worth it even though it costs about $3,000. Subscribe to my channel to see how I make other kimchi recipes. Thanks for watching!